That picture represented a whole new technique, a screen technique, the same that's used for printing a picture on paper. Three days later, the face was joined by something that looked like a data strip. Rows of counters made out of standing and flattened crop. But soon, an astonishing similarity is discovered. In 1974, the astronomer Carl Sagan composed a message that NASA sent into space from the Arecibo telescope in Puerto Rico. Binary figures, which constituted a graphic code, presenting key factors about humans and the planet we live on. 27 years later, an identical pattern appears in a crop field right in front of a similar radio telescope. However, on closer inspection, it seemed to show that the code contained some fundamental differences. Sagan's message explained our calculation system, the dominant chemical substances within the elements that create life on Earth, about our DNA code, humans' height and quantity, and that we live on the third planet in our solar system, and lastly, a sketch of our radio telescope. The message received described the same calculation system, but that silicon is most dominant in life forms in contrast to carbon. The drawing also clearly shows a humanoid figure with large head in relation to its body. It's also explained that they have an extra string in their DNA, are approximately four feet tall, inhabit the third, fourth and fifth planets in their solar system and have a population of around 21.3 billion. Underneath, the telescope has been replaced by something more complex. One year earlier, a strange crop circle had appeared in the same place. Is this the same illustration as in the sender's code? Is this the correspondence radio telescope? Never mind the fact that if I overlay the octahedron part of the 64 tetrahedron grid over top the crop circle, it was a perfect fit. This compelled me to continue to study these things and as, as I was studying advanced physics and continuing to advance my theories and I realized that the, there was eventually crop circles that were perfect representations of the 64 tetrahedron grid that were emerging in the crops of England. Uh, and then vector equilibriums um, coming out of the crops of England uh, with singularities at their center uh, including the information about the boundary generated by the tetrahedrons so that if you knew that each tetrahedron generates its own boundary then you would add them here and generate this other geometry which can, has been popularized as the seed of life and then a crop circle to tell you you've decoded right and so this was like a code that was being given i was very excited about that once again we see a face but this time there is an unmistakable resemblance to something extraterrestrial the picture also contains a print, somewhat similar to that of a CD, with something that appears to be a coded message. This formation also has a new type of design, this time with horizontal line patterns of variable thickness, similar to that of a TV picture. The message on the disc is similar to a spiral band, built up of many boxes. But data expert Paul Weige manages to decipher the message. And I had to enlarge the, the, the disk quite substantially on the computer and run some image analysis over it to make it clear so that I could see what was a standing tuft and what was flattened. And while I was doing this, I noticed that every so often um, there was almost a mistake in the diagram. It was, it was like there was a tuft, where the little square of tuft, it had done sort of half size. I thought, well, that's a bit odd, and it, and it seemed fairly regular. I was going round. And I sort of counted up, and it, it was sort of literally every sort of eight bytes or whatever. And I thought, oh, eight bytes. And, you know, from the computer side, um, it's obviously some sort of binary code. Um, so then I you know, did the straightforward thing, and I just converted it into ASCII, uh, which is the standard sort of you know, 
um, computer language that you, you encode the alphabet in. Um, and of course I then started to get words forming out and I thought, oh, you know, I'm getting somewhere here. So I then did the whole thing for the whole lot um, and, and got this message. The message is in English and reads as follows. Beware the bearers of false gifts and their broken promises. Much pain, but still time. There is good out there. We oppose deception. Conduit closing. Many have been surprised by this message. Are there aliens with such faces that we should be aware of? Or is this a picture of the sender? Does this indicate the start of actual close contact with neighbors in the universe? I continued to study it and there was very much information that was coming out of the crop circles that had to do with fractals, the way, the, the way those spheres, okay, each boundaries of the tetrahedrons divide. Here we can see it um, in another crop circle where uh, the central part of the sphere divisions um, is has these crescent that seem to indicate rotation, angular momentum, which is what we're going to get into in a minute or after lunch. And then that, that division of space was fractalized over uh, the field. And then eventually even structures like like this that showed these spheres dividing in in a rotational pattern uh, this one uh, crop circle right across from a very uh, well-traveled highway which has stone inch on the other side okay uh, very large crop circle um, that appeared and um, and then even larger ones like so that showed that spiraling division of space uh, that dynamic and and now I was starting to really link into the that the you know I had found I believe that I had found a fundamental structure of equilibrium for the vacuum state now I had to understand the dynamics that that fundamental structure generated in the field equation, the dynamics of it, not the static view of it, but the dynamics of it, the angular momentum, the rotational part of it, the, the, the field equation that emerged from it. Because remember, the vacuum state geometry would be the structure that goes towards infinitely small that collapses into singularity there's the other side of the equation the feedback which is the radiative side which has all these energy levels and all these dynamics in it and that had to match to the geometry of space if you sit out here in this field you know especially for a night maybe, I spend a whole night in this circle, in this um, geometric pattern, which at this time is a complete mystery. You can sit here and you can ask your own fundamental questions and there's no need for um, TV or culture, religion. You know, it's like a, it's like a personal little church for a night and, um, you know, it's, it's actually very healthy and um, it certainly should be looked at very seriously before being ridiculed. Usually the ridicule is stemming from fear rather than um, fact. Personally, I think the um, message of the crop circles is really important and I think they are one of the most important things happening on the planet at the moment. I think they speak of earth changes, I think they speak about changes um, t about human evolution, I think we're being stimulated and pulled forward to consider all kinds of possibilities for the fact that the reality which we perceive at the moment is not in fact the entire reality at all.